Okay guys, we're now going to go over the NSE or the Nmap scripting engine. And this one is um, the most powerful tool within Nmap. And it is it has flexible features and it basically allows users to, to write and share simple scripts as well. And the, for this, they use the, the Lua programming language to automate a wide variety of networking tasks. Um, like we saw on two videos before how it found FTP and it ran a, a script to see if it was able to log in anonymously and it was able to log in anonymously. Uh, so that's what we're going to, to be doing. And you can find this if you go to the CD, I believe it is in the, is it in the user, local share and map and where is it no it's not here uh user share and map maybe the users uh user not local user share and map directory you can see over here the scripts and if you do an ls you can see all the scripts that we have over here we have a bunch of http scripts we have Main base, we have the Metasploit scripts, uh, we have Telnet brute force, we have TFTP enumeration, we have TFTP version. I mean, we have tons of scripts that we can run on a target and on a target port. So let's go ahead and start doing that. So if we do an Nmap, um, and the switch for this is lowercase s and uppercase c for these NSC or the and map scripting engine and for this one it is going to scan with the default um nsc scripts and those um default are considered useful for discovery and they're also safe to run right because they're already being tested by by nmap and those are the defaults so we are going to it is almost done so what it's going to be doing whatever port it finds if it has Let's say for FTP, I think it's going to just run the default one, which is to try to log in anonymously. So it is still undergoing one um, script scan, which I believe it does. It also does, there's one of the default ones that it does at brute force, and sometimes it takes a little bit. So let's go ahead and wait for that to be finished. Okay, so you can see that it is done, and you can also see which script was run. You can see that for the SMB, it found the SMB and it found the SMB script mode um, and also ran the SMB OS discovery script over here and you can see the results for each script. So for this script, it, it this is the, the output and for this script, the SMB security mode, that is the output and it also found port 8180, which is a Tomcat over here, it didn't run any script on it. Let's see if another script was ran um this one it ran the mysql info this one it ran the http title script and there's all the ones in here all right so let's go ahead and clear this out and let's go ahead and keep going if you want to run let's say let me go ahead and go just get out of here and, or let's just go yeah, this is fine let's just stay here all right let's go ahead and clear the screen so now let's go ahead and see if we found you can you can run a script just to get the banners so the way that you do that is by doing the um, script and you want to do equals to banner so that's going to just grab the banner um, and this one should be a little bit faster as you can see over here one second remaining one second in nmap could be up to 10 minutes <laughs> you can see that now it is it is going up um, because there's some some of the scripts that might go um, that might take longer and you can see over here that it was able to grab the banner for these ports 512 um, it also ran it for this one over here you can see the banner mat exploitable and you can see all the ba banners that was able to grab per each port which is cool we can see the banner for VSTPD over here, FTP, Telnet, SMNTP, 
right so that is really cool so that's how you're able to grab the banners um, just like we did with netcat before you can do it this via a script right and how about if you want to run all the http script you can just specify http and then you put a wildcard over here and if you want to just specify a port right let's just run it on port 80. so what this is going to do is going to run all the scripts that start with http because we added a wildcard at the end so as you can see that some of them like this one the wrap text is temporarily disabled which is fine um but over here you can see that this one is going to take a little bit longer because it is going to run every single script that start um with http right and we saw this before and it it, it was a lot of scripts um that started with http i think we found like we, there were like 20 of them right that we saw let's go ahead and go back to what was it to to that location let's go ahead and just open let's go ahead and open a new tab make this bigger for you guys i'm blind just like you guys let's go ahead and see the to the user share and map ls uh, and then cd to scripts and you can see over here so all the scripts oh there's a lot more than what i thought so it's going to run all the scripts that start with http so it's going to run all of this over here which is a lot of scripts that is going to that is trying to run right now you can see that it's up to 32 minutes so let's go ahead and just cancel this so that's how you do that right you can do that you can even do it instead of http right let's go ahead and find another one if you want uh, to run all of them that start with netbus right you can just put a walk card at the end and yeah just 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 like that all right um what else can we do guys what else let's see we can also scan with two different scripts we can just say that we want to run http which is the default script and also the banner right you can specify two different ones over here so the http do not find a category so yeah you gotta really be um, there there isn't a category for http i thought it was okay but you can just be even more specific you can just say that you want to run like the http um i think there's an http banner or http brute force http roblox there's a there's just too many http um ls method roblox is there a title let's go ahead and say http title so we run the http title over here did not find did I, oh i put two t's come on guys you should have called that there we go so the http title and also the banner that is just going to run those two script and only for port 80 because we are specifying um port 80 over here so yeah uh i believe this is it for this video on running the or using the nmap scripting engine right i think you got it and you see what you could do and how powerful this can be whenever you are running scans on a port um so this is it for this video guys bye bye